Okay, let's go up to File, Open Scene, and let's open up the last file that I saved, and that would be o2skeleton.ma. All right, so here I have the completed skeleton with um, everything named correctly. I just want to double check on this, make sure everything is in fact named correctly. All right, so now that we've completed the skeleton and it's placed correctly inside the model and we've oriented the joints, I'm going to now bind the skin to the skeleton, okay? So I'm going to start down here at the bottom and I'm going to just um, select the foot joint, the foot 01, not the toe, but the foot. And then I'll hold down shift, select the ankle, the knee, the hip, and I'll do the other leg at the foot, ankle, knee, hip. And uh, now I'll go up the spine, holding down shift, I'll select the spine, first spine, second, third, and the head joint. I'm not going to select the end joint here. We're not going to select any of the end joints. So I'll go down the arm here now, I'll hold down shift, select each of the joints, the wrist here, and uh, let's see, we'll go down the thumb. And once again, I'm not going to click on the last joint in the chain. Okay. Go over to this side, starting with the clavicle, go down the chain here. And we'll do the wrist, thumb. Looks good. Okay. I believe I have all the joints selected except for the last joint at the end of each chain here. So now I'm going to hold down shift, select the body. And I'm going to go up to Skin, and then I'll go to Binding, and I'll select the options for Smooth Bind. All right, I'm going to reset these settings. Um, now I want you to carefully follow along with me because uh, this can affect quite a bit uh, of your your rig here. So I'm going to start by binding to not the joint hierarchy, but selected joints. That's what we, the reason that I went through and selected each of the joints. Uh, by method, closest distance, that's fine. Classic linear, that's fine. Uh, normalized weights, interactive, that's fine. Weight distribution, we want this by neighbors. Um, I'm going to uncheck allow multiple bind poses. I'm going to take the max influences down from 5 to 3. And I'm going to take the drop off rate all the way up to 10. So I will hit bind skin right here. And now when you select a joint and you move it, you can see the mesh moves with it. However, it's not moving the way we want it to because it's missing parts of the head here. So we're going to have to fix that. Um, but just in general, you should be able to move the arms, even though it doesn't look good when you move the arms. You need to be able to just check and make sure that this is actually binding. Uh, the skin is binding to the skeleton. All right, so now that we've done that, we have to go in and be more specific with each joint about um, by selecting the joint or selecting the mesh rather and then telling the mesh uh, which vertices are paired to which joints in the chain, okay? Um, so Let's see here. I'm going to start by just moving this leg back. And you can see something's happening to this foot. And it's like this some joint in this chain is pulling these vertices away. And that's really um, not what we want. So let's take care of this major error first. So I'm going to go to Skin and then uh, Paint Skin Weights Tool. And I'm going to go to the Options on that. So here we have it over here. What we'll do is you will uh, select the mesh like this, and then you click on the paint skin weights or the last tool used right here. And it turns your mesh black. And what you can do is you can, um, you can see your brush, your cursor changes to a brush, and it has this 
red circle and that's the size of your brush and then you can hold down the B key to resize your brush you just click and drag while you're holding down B that's B as in boy so then what you can do is resize your brush and I'll right click go to select influence and you can see right here the area that's white is being influenced by that specific joint right there so I can go to the next joint in the chain you can see a different area on the mesh is being influenced by the ankle joint versus the foot joint. So now what we want to do is we want to figure out what's happening here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start at the first joint, the uh, foot joint, and then I'm going to go over here to my tool settings for my paint skin weights. And I'm going to change my um, paint operation to replace and I want to take the opacity all the way up so it's a full opacity on this brush and I want to take the value all the way down and I want to get rid of this here and I'm painting here and nothing's happening okay here there is something happening so I want to paint all over this foot and get rid of any influence that this joint um, this would be the left foot joint I don't want it to influence the right foot joint so I'm just gonna paint make sure that I'm I'm basically erasing any influence because my brush is set to replace and that has a value of zero so I'm erasing any influence so I'll go to the next joint in the chain the ankle joint right here and again I'm going to start to paint here you can see now we're starting to make some real progress in that there were some the the uh, ankle joint for the left leg was influencing the right leg, the right foot here. So we've fixed a major problem here by just erasing any influence here on this right foot. All right, um, now you can see parts of the left foot are being influenced by parts of the right foot. So now I will come over here and I'll right click on the foot joint on the right side here and now I'll erase anything over here that see basically what they're doing is the they've been sh sharing their weights and they shouldn't be okay so I'm just painting erasing any influence that that foot joint on the right side has on the left foot now I'll go to the ankle joint right here I'll go to select influence and then I'll start to paint here and you can see our foot's regaining its normal shape. Okay. I think we're good on the foot now. So now what I want to do is um, I'm going to rotate this joint that I've rotated up. I'll rotate it back to zero. Okay. So now I'm going to go in and specifically uh, paint the, the weights for each joint going up the chain, one joint at a time. Okay. So I'll select the, the mesh. I'll click on my paint skin weights uh, tool over here. Then I'll right click on this joint right here and go to select influence. And um, the foot joint right here is going a little bit too far back on uh, to the heel here. So I'll go to, oh, I'm already on replace. So I'm gonna start to erase some of the influence here. Cause it's just, the influence is going too far away um, on the mesh here. Okay. So just maybe make my brush size a little bit smaller here. So now I've kind of reined in the influence of this foot joint. And um, what I want to do now is I want to kind of smooth out the transition from the foot joint to the ankle joint. Okay, so I want it to kind of fade into um, fade away the influence. So what I'll do is I'll go to smooth right here and I'll paint this and try and smooth out the transition from the foot to the ankle. Alright, so I'm painting all the way around here 
So it's looking pretty good. All right. So now I'll take this foot joint and I'm going to rotate it up and just make sure that it's bending properly. And I'm going to undo that rotation, go back to my paint skin weights, and I'm going to try and smooth it over a little bit more up here at the top. So let's see here. Okay, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get on that foot. So the other thing you can do is sometimes you can, when the foot's bent, take the paint skin weights and try and smooth it out a little bit here as it's bent. Okay, so I'll take the foot here, I'll rotate it back down to zero, and then I'll rotate it back up. And there we have our bend in the foot right there. Okay, so we can rotate this back down. All right, now we're gonna rotate the ankle. So I'll rotate this back. Like so you can see in the back of the foot it's really not deforming well. So I'll select the mesh right here and I'll click on my paint skin weights and this time I'm going to go to add. I'm going to add value to the ankle joint right here. So uh, you can't really see it but the ankle joint's right in here. You want to right click, go to select influence and then we want to add weight to the back of the foot here because you can see where it's kind of gray or almost black that means it's not fully influenced by this um, ankle joint so I'm gonna add in now let's see here uh, I gotta change my value so so that I'm adding a full amount and maybe we'll just start here and paint and you can see when you when you have the brush going all uh, both of these sliders going all the way to the right it's really it, it moves these vertices quite fast and uh, sometimes it goes too fast and you can't really keep track of um, what you're doing so what you can do is take the uh, opacity on this down a little bit and that way you can kind of slowly add value and then I'll resize my brush maybe even take the value down a little bit and kind of slowly pull this stuff up okay so this looks pretty good uh, it's not perfect but at this point oh, let's add a little bit more over here Okay, so here at this point, I'm going to want to take my brush, my smooth brush, and try and smooth out the transition between the ankle and the, the leg here. So at this point on my smooth, I'm going to take the opacity back up because I want the brush to be stronger. Yeah, there we go. I want to get a nice bend in the ankle there. Okay. So now I'll take the uh, ankle joint right here and I'll rotate it back to zero. And I'll take the knee now and I'll rotate it up. And let's see how we're doing here. So I'll select the mesh. I'll click on my paint skin weights. And uh, I'll, I'll try and find the, you can't really see it very well, but there is a, a knee joint inside the leg right here. I'll right click, go to select influence. 
And then I think what I want to do here is kind of pull out a little bit more the uh, the vertices here. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And um, I actually want to erase influence here. So I'm going to go replace. And I'm going to go with a, a very small value. You can see that that just popped out that vertex pretty far. So I want it to be even more subtle. So I'm going to take the opacity on my brush down. So when I paint now, it's very gentle. Okay, so my brush is not a strong brush, and my value, I'm not adding a lot of value. So I'm just kind of gently pulling this stuff back a little bit. Okay, I'm going to now take my smooth brush and smooth this out a little bit. Okay, so let's take a look here. I'm going to just rotate this up a little bit more. So I think at this point, this is kind of a sharp edge right here. So I might try and uh, work a little bit on that. So maybe add a tiny bit of influence on here. Just bring that in a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied um, with the weights on that. So I'll take the rotate Z value right here. I'm going to type in a value of 0. And we're back to the bind pose right here. So this is a good place to save our work. So I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As. And I'm going to save this as um, O. We'll go to 03 on this. And this is going to be this is the beginning of the skinning process. So 03 skinned. And I'll hit save as. Okay, in the next video we will continue with the skinning process by working our way up the spine and then uh, down the arm.